Suppose I prefer $20 for sure for a lottery that is going to pay me $100 with probability 1 by 4 and $0 otherwise means with probability 3 by 4, I'll be getting $0. That is one condition. Now, another is that I prefer a lottery A to lottery B. A is paying $100 with probability 1 by 8. And of course, $0 with the remaining probability, which is 7 by 8. And there is lottery B, which is paying me $20 with probability 1 by 2 and $0 with probability half. Is there a utility function consistent with my preferences? I have to read the question carefully and try to think about the problem. So try to write what is given to you first. So what is given to you? Suppose I prefer $20 for sure for a lottery that pays $100 with probability 1 by 4 and $0 with probability 3 by 4. <clears throat> the first preference would require that. Utility which I'm getting from $20 is more than the utility which I'm going to get from the lottery. Now for lottery, the utility is going to be defined by the expected utility function. So what is the expected utility function? With probability 1 by 4, I'll be getting $100. So the utility from $100. With probability 3 by 4, I'll be getting $0. So the utility from $0. So remember this part. This is important. Then what is the condition? I prefer lottery A to lottery B. I prefer lottery A to lottery B. So when you write about lottery, I mean, its utility function is defined by the expected utility function, right? So A pays $100 with probability 1 by 8 and $0 with probability 7 by 8. So it is 1 by 8 U of uh, 100. But for the lottery, you're going to use the expected utility function. So there are two prices, $100, $0. Utility from $100 is U of 100. Utility from $0 is U of 0. And then you write the expected utility function, which is the weighted average, uh, where the weights are given by the probabilities. So this is the expected utility function from lottery A. Okay, what is the expected utility function from lottery B? $20 with probability half and $20, sorry, $0 with probability half. I have been told that I prefer this to this, right? Now, can I do some rearrangement and try to see whether I get the similar kind of preference or I get some contradiction. So can I subtract one by two u zero from both sides. One by eight U of hundred plus seven by eight U zero minus one by two U zero greater than so the same thing which is being subtracted, so there is no problem. It is just uh, half U zero has gone. Uh, okay. What will this be? I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Um, so this is eight. This is your uh, seven minus four. You see, I'm sorry, I'm taking all the steps. So what you are left out with this? Plus three by eight. U zero. 
greater than 1 by 2 u20. Okay. Now, can you uh, can you do one thing? Can you do one thing? That is, uh, you can multiply both the sides by 2. So if you multiply both sides by 2, this will become what? 1 by 4 u of 100. 3 by 4 u of 0. Greater than u of 1. Now see this result and the result which you have written earlier. Earlier you were saying u20 was greater than this guy. 1 by 4 u of 100 plus 3 by 4 u of 0. Now you are saying 1 by 4 u of 100 plus 3 by 4 u of 0 is greater than u20. Hmm. This can't be true at the same time, which contradicts. which contradicts the above preference. Therefore, there is no VNM utility function that represents the stated preferences with Rada. So no, there is no utility function which is consistent with my preferences, right? So I hope it was useful to you. Thank you, Rada.